Hello there, my name is William Gould. I play in the band Creeper and you're watching EMP. Hi everyone, it's Elena from EMP. I'm here at Download 2022 and I'm here with Will from Creeper. Hi. Hello, how are you? Yeah, not bad, how are you? Not too bad, thank you. Thank you so much for taking the time and coming here to talk with us. Not a problem at all. It's very warm today, isn't it? It is. We try to sit here because there's a breeze sometimes. Yeah. But <laughs> you got a good spot. Yeah, I, I was not going to be able to stand outside in the <laughs> sun all day. <laughs> not understandable. What's you, you guys like? You played with my camp I saw the other day, Bologna. Like, yes. Those of my friends were there. Oh, I cool. Saw you, yeah, <laughs> I saw you in the stories because I'm Italian, so I saw like most of my friends were there. How, oh, how was it? It was amazing. It, you know, like those shows have been so fun. We've been out for ages now. We did. Um, like a UK tour with Alice Cooper, and then we went straight out to the Mike M stuff out there. It was really fun. We're doing Mike M tomorrow in Berlin. Yeah, I saw, uh, yeah. So yeah, it's been amazing. It's so, so cool that the Mike M show was massive and, and a real spectacle. And watching them play afterwards, you know, that was so cool too. So. Kind of dream come true. Oh yeah, absolutely. And I, so you have like, like loads of other festivals, and then you're going to be on tour with Enter Shikari as well? This yeah, so we just go, go to uh, Australia, we went to Shikari. We've never been to Australia before as well, so that's a new ground for us. So it's going to be nice, that's really yeah. Exciting. When can we expect new music? Well, the, the thing about Creeper is, uh, it's always got an element of mystery to that sort yeah, of thing. So, so we, you don't want to tell me. Yeah, well, um, <laughs> Well, you know, it, I think half the fun comes with uh, with not knowing, you know. Um, Waking up one day and finding the album up. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, exactly. Um, it's uh, it's uh, th there's been a lot of time recently where we've had like the last two years free, you know. So it's been a lot of time to to really assess what we want to be doing and how we want to do it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not time yet, but it may be time soon. Yeah, nice. What's on your headphones? What's on my headphones? Uh, what have I listened to recently? I've been listening to, we've been on tour of Alice Cooper, so we listen to loads of Alice Cooper. Yeah. We just listened to, uh, in the van, we listened to all of the, now that's what I call music, compilations. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've been listening to that band, Unto Others, you know that band? Yeah. I think they're really, really good. Um, listen to a real mixed bag of stuff. Uh, yeah, like it's, it's, a, it's a, a real mixture in our van. Um, I've been listening to American Nightmare a lot on this tour as well, I don't know if you like them. Um, and I just saw uh, Bauhaus the other day um, in LA at, nice. the, at the Cool World Festival. And so I've listened to them, revisiting some of those records that I haven't listened to in a while. Um, the Damned, you know? Yeah, um, nice. So nice yeah, one. like a, a real mixed bag. Yeah, that's good. I mean, it's good to have like a bit of like different, like, you know, taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. And like, you know, you've been on the road for so long and like, what's your favorite way to kill time between gigs? Like, do you guys game together? Do you binge series together? Like, So we made a game the other day in the van. Um, I made a board game for us to play. Nice. Uh, so we had a table like this. And I made a I made a game called the Pharaoh's Tomb, and uh, so basically we all started off and we had like little little like coins like little, little uh, and we wrapped them in um, in tape and wrote our names on them and we did, had a board and we rolled the dice and we all went around and the the goal was to get to the Pharaoh's Tomb, and we played that for a few days. <laughs> That's what we do really. <laughs> but like in between gigs, we just mess around, just yeah. games all the time. Yeah. Um, That's good. Yeah. And do you play video games at all? I'm not a very good gamer. I do like them, but I'm not very good at them. I play uh, exclusively games that came out years ago. Uh, what do I play? I play my, my friend Beth. Um, she got me into playing Hitman, so I play Hitman 2, which is a really old game. Play that all the time. Uh, I like playing La Noire. Yeah. Um, have you ever played that yeah, game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I like being a detective. I thought that was fun. Um, yeah. Finding the clues. I also play Rollercoaster Tycoon on tour and Theme Hospital. Because I was about to ask you, like, if you got trapped in the universe of the last video game you played, where oh would God. you be and I how long would you survive? I would die straight away. Straight away. I, I'm, su I'm surprised that I'm alive here. You in know, real life. I, I something terrible hasn't happened and caused my demise. Um, I, I, the last video game I played would have been Hitman, I think, so before you would we came be, away. Yeah. So I'd be the Hitman, yeah. but I would do a terrible job of being a Hitman and I would just be killed straight away. That's what would happen. Yeah. What would you say are your top three favorite movies ever? Ah, oh, well, The Rocky Horror Picture Show. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Phantom of the Paradise by Brian De Palma. Uh, oof. It's hard to pick a third one. Those tears came up to my tongue straight away. Um, I'm going to say, you know what, I, I've been watching um, that uh, Tim Burton film, Ed Wood, uh, like recently, because I love the story of, of Ed Wood as the director. Uh, like the, yeah, you know, you're familiar with him, he made all the B movies. Um, 
So, but me and my girlfriend watch that all the time. It's kind of become like our film. So yeah. I'd say that one as well. So she's involved. Yeah, <laughs> nice. And if you could grab a cup of coffee or a beer with a character from a movie, a TV series, or a book, who would it be and why? Oh my god. Anyone in particular? Oh, that is a, that's a hard question. <laughs> Sorry, I put you on the spot. No. Um, who would I choose? From a movie, I'd like to go uh, like and get a beer with um, David Bowie's character of um, Jareth from The Labyrinth. Oh yeah, but yeah, that would be yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, inter it'd be interesting to hang out with him, you know. Um, I wonder what he, <laughs> what about what conversation he'd be like? I never thought about this until now, but what that a great one! That would be one. interesting, yeah. Right? <laughs> Glad you liked it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you rather live through a zombie apocalypse or an alien invasion? Alien invasion, because I think that's going to happen anyway. I feel like we're going to have that soon. It wouldn't be surprising, yeah, no, no, considering everything that's going on. Yeah. That wouldn't be surprising. The next, you know all the memes like, oh, like, this is us next month. Exactly, yeah, 100%. I think that, that's just going to happen soon. <laughs> yeah. And would you say you have any hidden talent, like something that people would not expect you to be really good at? I can do card tricks. Really? Yeah. Nice. Oh, shame we don't have any cards. <laughs> I want, next interview, just so you know, I'm going right. to bring cards. Okay, please. <laughs> yeah. I'll remember that. I'll, I'll bring cards as well. What is your all-time favorite book? That's really hard, because uh, there's a couple of really important books for me that have influenced records I've made, and so I spent a lot of time studying them, like J.M. Barry's uh, Peter, uh, Peter Pan. Um, I read that a load because we made a record that was referencing the characters from yeah. it. Um, you ever read the book k -Pax? No, um, but I'll so check that, it out. That, that, that book was uh, a big reference to our last record, Sex, Death and Infinite Void. We probably, either of those I, I had to read so many times through yeah. that like, I know them kind of inside out, so yeah. probably one of those two. It's like the comfort thing of like, yeah, rereading like, something you like. It yeah. was, it, and it's always fiction with me, I don't read a lot of non-fiction anyway. Nice. Well, Will, it was so great talking to you. Thank you so much for your time. Can you just leave it with a message for your UK and European fans? Absolutely. Hello, everybody in the UK and Europe. We're currently touring in the UK and Europe. Um, so, you know, perfect. <laughs> so perfect. Uh, if, you're, if you're around, come, uh, come see us. We are... When will this go out, do you think? Hmm? When will this be on the internet? This week, like, okay, you great. know, like, yeah, cool. soon, <laughs> in the next few days. <laughs> well, um, we're in Berlin tomorrow, but this probably won't be out tomorrow. But we're playing in Bonn uh, with Michael Chemical Romance. We're playing in Paris with Trash Boat. We're doing um, Rock for People this, this, this uh, coming month as well. Two more weeks on tour. Um, and in the UK, we'll be at 2,000 Trees uh, next month. So come see us. Nice. And music, well, you know, we don't know. <laughs> we don't know. We, there's no way of knowing. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers, guys.